Right, we're going to take a look at this mould today. Uh, this is from Diorama Debris. It's a silicon rubber mould. It's 135th scale. And it is a slate roof tile. And the mould, well, reference number for it is 135031. Now, these are sold in the UK and they're produced in the UK by RJ Norris. Uh, there will be a link in the description box if you would like to go to their website and have a look. Uh, I purchased this one, like I say, from uh, Diorama Debris. This was £7.99, uh, £8 or by a penny, uh, plus postage and packing. Uh, turn it over. You can't see a great deal through the polythene, so what I should do. At the end of put that to one side and I don't think you're going to see a great deal once the camera focuses uh, these are standard slate sizes and to be honest with you I've not even measured them get a little googler. let's have a little look uh, what's that 15 Six, that's 16, 17 millimeters by. So I'm going to have to use. I'm using the screen. Uh, it's five, six, seven, eight, eight, about eight millimeters. That's the size of the mold. There's nothing you can actually see in there. I know they are quite well textured. Uh, but you can't see a great deal. I think the proof's going to be in the actual uh, casting of these. Now these are extremely thin and if you're new to casting these have to be done using a piece of glass or a piece of uh, perspex uh, to actually flatten the back. Uh, what I do, I will show you the technique that's actually used for doing that, just so you've got an idea. You know, if it's if if this is the only mould that you you want to get, uh, knowing how to cast it properly is a big help. So I will do a short video, and uh, I'll clip it into this as well, so you can actually see how it's uh, how you actually do it. Now what can I say? But these slates are absolutely fantastic. They really are nice and as you can see I've done a little mock up of part of the roof and put some of the slates down. They are absolutely fantastic. They look like the real thing. And I don't think you could ask for any more. I mean there's nothing to say. These are going to look absolutely fantastic uh, on the diorama because this is what I brought this mould for. Uh, I've got a diorama in, in mind of a house that I'm going to build. So these are going to go on the roof and I am looking forward to actually using these now. So that is all I can say about them and that's all I can actually show you really. I mean I will take this away. Excuse the uh, block holding it up. I have a few more here, and as you can see, they are thin, straight, and they are absolutely fantastic. Now, I did say in the clip earlier on that I would do a video for you so you can see how to do the well, to use the perspex if you don't know and I have done that for you. There is a video up in the how to and I just run through so you can well actually just run through showing you how to uh, use the perspex on the mould and so you can actually produce yourself nice decent parts. So that is all for me as, as, as bet as much as I can say because 
there's nothing else to say. So thank you very much for joining me. Uh, the next review that will be up will be German Standard Bricks with the Frog, which will be up very shortly in the next day or so. So if you're into want bricks, uh, tune in as they say and uh, have a look at that one as well. So thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one.